There was a merry passenger, a messenger, a mariner. He built a gilded gondola to wander in and had in her a load of yellow oranges and porridge for his provender. He perfumed her with marjoram and cardamom and lavender. He called the winds of Argosies with cargoes in to carry him across the river seventeen that lay between to tarry him. He landed all in loneliness, where stonily the pebbles on the running river Derelin goes merrily for ever on. He journeyed then through meadowlands to shadowland that dreary lay, and under hill and over hill went roving still a weary way. He sat and sang a melody, his errantry a tarrying, he begged a pretty butterfly that fluttered by to marry him. She scorned him, and she scoffed at him. She laughed at him unpitying. So long he studied wizardry, and sigildry, and smithying. He wove a tissue airy thin to snare her in, to follow her. He made him beetle leather wing and feather wing of swallow hair. He caught her in bewilderment with filament of spider thread. He made her soft pavilions of lilies and a bridal bed of flowers and of thistle down to nestle down and rest her in. And silken webs of filmy white and silver light he dressed her in. He threaded gems and necklaces, but recklessly she squandered them and fell to bitter quarrelling. Then sorrowing, he wandered on, and there he left her withering as shivering he fled away, with windy weather following, on swallow wing he sped away. He passed the archipelagos where yellow grows the marigold, where countless silver fountains are, and mountains are of fairy gold. He took to war and forraying, a harrying beyond the sea, and roving over Belmary and Thelamy and Fantasy. He made a shield and morion of coral and of ivory, a sword he made of emerald, and terrible his rivalry, with elven knights of airy and fairy with paladins that golden-haired and shining-eyed came riding by and challenged him. Of crystal was his habergeon, his scabbard of chalcedony, with silver-tipped at plenilune, his spear was hewn of ebony, his javelins were of malachite and stalactite, he brandished them and went and fought the dragonflies of paradise, and vanquished them. He battled with the Dumbledores, and Hummerhorns, and Honeybees, and won the golden honeycomb, and running home on sunny seas, in ship of leaves and gossamer, with blossom for a canopy, he sat and sang, and furbished up, and burnished up his panoply. He tarried, for a little while, and found there naught but blowing grass, and so at last the only way he took and turned, and coming home with honeycomb to memory, his message came, and errand too, in daring do and glamoury he had forgot them, journeying and turneying, a wanderer. So now he must depart again, and start again his gondola, forever still a messenger, a passenger, a tarrier, a roving as a feather does, a weather-driven mariner.